Okay, so in this next tutorial about subnetting, Cisco subnetting and, and subnetting and using binary, and we'll talk about the magic number now, we said, now, um, what if, right, what if we had this number, same IP address, uh, 192.168.3.55, but it was slash 28. Well, what does that mean? That means 255.255.255.240, or here's the subnet mask right here, right? We've got, if we count all these ones, that's 24 ones, so this would be 25 ones, 26 ones, 27 ones, 28 ones, okay? And so um, this would be the situation now where we'd end the IP address with the subnet mask, and this is a very different um, scenario. And in this case, we're going to now logically, we're going to do this AND operation. That is what happens with the router. And a lot of people, students will, you know, it's often an easy time to say, well, just multiply the two numbers together. Multiply the IP address with the subnet mask, and you will get the same result. But it's really not a multiplication that's happening here. It's a logical ANDing. It goes back to um, logic and uh, Boolean logic and all that kind of stuff that computers, the logic behind um, computers works with, with binary number system. So what happens now is, is if we AND this together, we'll get the same result here, same result here, right? We'll get 192 in that octet. We'll get 168 in this octet. We'll get 3 in this octet. But when we get here, we're going to get a different result. So now when we AND these together, we're going to get 0 and a 0 and a 1. A true and a false makes a false. A uh, false, I mean a false and a true makes a false. A false and a true makes a false. But here we go, uh-oh. 1 and a 1 makes a 1. A true and a true makes a true. And then another one, true and a true makes a true. Okay. And then we have here false. A true and a false makes a false. A true and a false makes a false. So now we have a very different situation. We have the 128 bit, the 64. Okay, so we have the 32 and the 16 bit. So this now becomes a 48. And it tells us that when the router sees this number right here, right? 192.168.3.55 slash 28. It means that the subnet mask is 255.255.255.240. It puts it into binary, essentially, or it's in binary, and they get ANDed together, and it finds out that the network number is, in fact, this. The network number is 192.168.3.48. And that's a very different type of number. So now, um, to talk more about this, we'll s I'll need to backtrack a little bit and talk about, well, you know, network number, what is the network number, why is this, and how is this working? Well, in every network you have the network number and the broadcast number and then the host numbers. So let's say, you know, you have this type of number and the subnet mask is normal or what we would call classful. Okay, this would be classful. This would be slash 24, right? So in this situation, you always have to know, and in Cisco, you're going to be asked to do this. What is the network number? Okay, what is the network number? What is the network number? All right, let me scroll down here. What is the network number? Well, in this case, the network number is 192.168.3.0. And then they'll ask you, what's the broadcast number? Okay, this is the network number. The broadcast number is 192. It's the last number in the network. The network number is the first number in the network. And so in this case, the broadcast number is the last number in this network. Okay, so 192.168.3.0 is the first number in the network, and this is the last number in the network. And that means that no host can occupy this number or this number. Nobody can be 0 or 255. So um, people on the network have to occupy the number range between 1 and 254. Those are the hosts. Okay? So every network has a network number, the beginning of the network, and then it has the hosts, and then it has the broadcast number. All right, and the broadcast number is reserved, nobody uses it, and the zero is the first number, the network number is reserved, nobody uses that, right?
Okay, so that's if you have a classful I, um, subnet mask. Well, in this case, that means that these are all zeros. So the classful subnet mask was that. But we didn't do that. We borrowed four bits. One, two, three, four. Right? And in that situation, what happens is the last bit becomes the magic number. So the last borrowed bit that's not classful, right? Classful in this case would have been a uh, 255, 255, 2550, or 24 ones and eight zeros. But we have now added on these ones. These become the subnet bits. And in this case, the magic number is the last borrowed bit. And this last borrowed bit is in the 128, 64, 32, 16 place. So according to this network, the magic number is 16. All right. And what is that going to do for you? Well, I'll show you in a minute how that works and why that knowing that number is 16 is so helpful. The last borrowed bit, how why that is exactly so helpful. I'll do that in